welcome to the second video of my December Daily 2019 series. So um, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the first seven days of my completed pages for December Daily. Uh, I'm hoping to record about one of these a week throughout December so that it's not one giant video at the end walking you through the whole album, although I might film that too. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to share some pages, um, but I also know that I cannot do this daily. Um, and so sharing once a week seemed like a reasonable compromise to me. So hopefully that all sits well with you all. As a reminder, I am using a six by eight um, album from Allie Edwards. This was a Jasmine Jones design from maybe 2016 or 2017, perhaps. Um, and then inside, I'm using primarily the LA Studio Document December kit for 2019. There's other stuff mixed in there as well, but that's primarily the kit that I am using. So let's dive in. For starters, I've got a big wood veneer. This is from LA Studio, December 2019, just as something fun inside the album cover. Um, I tend not to decorate too, too much inside or outside the album, so that was a nice little compromise. Um, all right, so getting started. If you remember my foundation pages, I did a foundation pages video, which I'll also link to in the description below, but um, I created this page, so it's a four by six on top and then two, um, two by twos on the bottom. And so this was a new style of page protector that came out earlier this year um, from Allie Edwards. And I used the same style as the opening page in my 2019 Week in the Life album, which I've not recorded a walkthrough yet of. Um, I just finished that up within, within the last couple of weeks. Um, and so I liked sort of the continuity of like doing the same thing in both of these special albums for this year. So I added in the photo. This is my husband and my pup and I on Thanksgiving. Um, and I just added a couple of die cut circles there and stapled those in place. On the back side, you'll know that I had this wish list card in place. This is a four by six journaling card from LA Studio Kit this year. And inside each of the boxes, I typed out using the um, Stanley Jr. alphabet stamps. So they are these guys. And I have an older set um, because I got them, I believe last year um, when they were first available. They're now they've been re-released and now they're sort of like one you can get them all in one big set which is fantastic but these are my most favorite alphabet stamps ever so i'm super super happy that ellie brought them back this year um because i i seriously love them you can tell how gross my stamps are um because i use them for nearly every project uh you're going to see them a ton in this album so they come with a solid stamp and then they come with a um, outline as well, which is super fun. So I use the outline here to stamp some words, cozy, calm, joy, slow, and space. Those are sort of things that I am hoping to focus on and um, really make happen uh, for our family this year. And so I wrote a little bit about each one, just like a sentence about each one of those things. Um, opening page is a trans star transparency from Allie Edwards with some acetate pieces from the LA Studio main kit. Um, and a word phrase sticker that says celebrate. Behind that, I've got a full page photo. So this is outside the page protectors. So it's the same width and height as the, as the six by eight page protectors. <clears throat> and this is one of our um, outtakes from our beach photo shoot that we do every year for our Christmas photos. So uh, our Christmas card photos. So I just took one that we did not use for our Christmas card, printed it big, and put a puffy sticker that says happiness and cheer at the top. On the back side, this double page, most of my, most of my pages so far in the album are double page at least. Um, and so what I did here, this is all pre-December. So I stamped out using the um, Candy Cane Jane Alphas and the Plain Jane Alphas as a, a sort of background to each one. Please Christmas, don't be late. Again, those Stanley stamps. And then typed up some uh, journaling about sort of Thanksgiving week, really, because that was what we did, all of our pre-December activities during that week um, at the beach. Uh, and so just typed out journaling on vellum and adhered it with, um, it's actually just held on with these 
um, puffy stickers. I think there may be a little bit of vellum adhesive in there. I don't like to use too much of it because I feel like every adhesive I use you can see through vellum, so I'm always super conscious of that. And then on the page opposite, I used an Allie Edwards 6x8 layered template to create this. So this is all just flat except for the embellishments that I added on top. And those are just embellishments that came in the main kit or add-ons, like the word phrases are add-ons. Um, just highlighting some of our beach trip. On the back side is day one. Um, and so it's sort of two and a half pages <laughs> or a double and a half. So what I did here um, is I, I need to get some new washi tape because this is not very sticky. It's coming up or I just need to put a piece of adhesive under there. That's what I'm going to do. I just had that idea to rectify that. Um, it's just old and so it's lost its sticky. Um, so I took a piece of vellum that's cut to six by eight and then I used the Jane Alpha dies to cut out from LE Studio to cut out the phrase rockin' around. So when I set this page up as my foundation pages, I had this card, this four by six with um, this little cluster of embellishments and the Christmas tree card from the main kit because I knew that I wanted to decorate our tree on the first day of December. Um, I knew that given all the Thanksgiving festivities, we wouldn't have time to do it before then and I like to decorate early. So um, we had to buy a new tree this year, so there's a little bit of that in the story here. Um, it's an artificial tree because I like to leave my tree up all winter, and so you can't do that with a real tree. So then I used a die cut here that's just like a stitch circle. I cut it in half and added um, the zero one from the um, one of the puffy alpha sets for this release. And then underneath is a fun photo of my husband putting the tree, the star on top of the tree. So I usually decorate the tree and then he came in uh, and I asked him to hang the star um, or place the star and this was the, the pose that he gave me. So that was super fun. And I think very fitting for the rocking around the Christmas tree bit. So then I've got a three by eight insert that's just some journaling about my thoughts and feelings and sort of sentiments about December starting. I used one of the wood veneer from the kit and actually what I did is I used a, um, let me see if I can grab their, their Stettler pens. Um, they are the Tri Plus Fine Liner pens, these guys. And so they actually have a really thin, um, a really fine point on them. I'm not sure if you can see that. And so I just used that to sort of color in. This was just like um, engraved in there. And so I just used it to color in red just as a little pop of color because it was pretty washed out with the white um, cardstock. Added an Avery index tab and one of the uh, December story uh, is what it says on both sides from the Holiday Words stamp set that is currently a favorite. On the back I added a small uh, photo of my hubby with the star and then in a more serious pose <laughs> and then a little bit of journaling about decorating and my process and some of my favorites and, and what what I think about as I decorate the tree each year. On the tr Christmas tree details card, I've just got it filled out in, in handwriting. I need to have my husband identify his favorite ornament. Day two was a huge day in our household. Um, my husband started his new job. Um, if you've been following along for any length of time, you know that my husband and I have both been out of work since uh, July of this year. And so, um, yeah, he finally started his new job December 2nd. And so a big, big day for us, a huge day in terms of our development, um, our personal story. So my husband and I have worked together, um, every single day for almost the last 10 years. And so this was a big deal, uh, you know, him going off to work and um, Ruby and I staying behind for now. Ruby's staying home with me um, until he gets settled in at work and then she'll be going to work with him more often. Um, but yeah, so what I did is I had this four by six card 
um, all of, again, all from Ellie's studio. And then I had my husband write out some journaling about his first day. And I typed that in here. What I did is I scanned this card in with my scanner and then brought it into Photoshop so I could perfectly line up the journaling so then I could print it and it would be fine. So I just turned off the layer that had the card on it and printed my journaling all lined up. Again, use the Stanley outline stamps here to place the date and the name of his employer. This too was from a three by four card that said 25 on it. And I just cut out the two because I have something in place already in my foundation pages for 25. So I liked that it matched the green. So I just went green all the way across. This journaling card here has a little bit of my thoughts and, and sentiments about Sean's first day of work. Um, a photo that Ruby and I sent uh, in a text message. This card here is from an old LA Studio document December kit, maybe 2016 or 2017, and an Allie Edwards chipboard on top. And then I have the see-through heart here, just one of the acetate shapes. All right, day three story is actually something that also happened on day two, but day two already had a really lengthy story and a big important story. So I moved it to day three because day three didn't have a lot going on. So um, because my husband is now going to be, we have owned one vehicle for the last 10 years because again, we've worked together in the same places or we worked at home before that. Um, and so we've only needed one vehicle, except now my husband will be driving about an hour to work every day. And so a new vehicle was, um, an, an additional vehicle was on the docket. Our Jeep is definitely not made for daily commuting beyond the 15 minute commute that we've had for the last seven years. So um, my husband ordered a Tesla uh, back in November when he found out he was going to be getting this job. Um, he placed this order and it, he has been literally just ants in the pants dying um, for this car to get here. So it finally arrived a little bit earlier than scheduled. So he went to work on the first day, then he had to leave to drive to another county to pick up the check from his credit union to drive back to, almost back to where he works um, to pick up the car. And so this stamping here is a little bit about all the places that he drove that evening. Um, and then I used, these cards are both from the LA Studio kit. And then I um, used some of the puffy alphas to spell out Mary Tesla Miss because I thought that was funny. Um, this is an old, document December piece of paper that I cut down to three by four and Jane Alpha dies punched out of vellum um, using the die cut. Just a tag of the picture of the car in front of our house and then um, my husband did some more journaling about the car on the back since it's his primary vehicle and up until just a couple days ago I hadn't even driven it so um, picture of us at the dealer getting picking up the car and then our first trip in the car together was out to go get some dinner that night and sort of celebrate what a giant day <laughs> that was for us. Day four um, is the story of all is calm, all is bright. So this is an Allie Edwards alpha stamp here um, that I just uh, gold embossed on to some vellum as a flip up. The little sort of snowflakes and speckles that I've got there, this this bit, this doodly bit, I actually used a Versa marker for. Um, and so the Versa marker is really cool because it has a, it's got a brush tip on it and then it has a more of like a bullet tip, fine point tip on it. And um, it's got the same ink in it as the Versa mark ink pad. And so you can write with this or doodle with this and then it acts then you just heat and boss like you would with using the stamp pad so that's a really fun um technique and so i just doodled some like snowflakey kind of things um, because the vellum was really plain the way i did the stamping down the center underneath um i've got some journaling printed white on red uh, that's just printed on photo paper um, just a story about sort of a lazy evening. Um, we were all really exhausted this day, uh, sort of the middle of the week and just adjusting to new routines. And, um, you know, my husband was fighting a migraine this day and, and battling, you know, the commute and things like that. So this was about 7 PM and we were all sort of asleep, um, <laughs> at one point in time. Uh, and so then my, the, you know, the sort of page opposite has the giant, 
chipboard alphas from Ali Edwards. And what I did here is I still wanted that see-through element because um, that's why I that's why I did that in the first place. But it was a little distracting. There was nothing really to ground these from the photo behind it, and they're not. This is a separate day from this photo, so I took a um, this is a printed transparency that I got at Michael's last year and it just has like script writing on it and I cut it into three by fours and put those in each of the pockets. So I'm really happy with that. Then we've got to kick off day five. I focused on five joyful things and so I have a giant six by eight photo back here. I love doing full size photos in this album um, and so again puffy alphas to signify that I'm focusing on joy today um, and this is one of my photos and then the other four are here in a collage that I made in Photoshop I just stapled on one of the acetate shapes from the kit um, and these are Jane alpha stickers the numbers are Jane alpha stickers from Ellie studio the number five is the wood veneer numbers from Allie Edwards this year and I did some gold embossing on here with an old LA Studio Holly like uh, background stamp so that turned out really cute and then what I had as my foundation pages were sort of this number five and this card and this bulleted list so I used the Stanley Alphas to stamp out TMPJs, This View, Am Walk, This Girl, Pom Pom uh, for to match my photos and then underneath the year I've got an index tab um, that says simple joys again that's from the holiday words uh, stamp set and under here I've got another photo that was just an extra photo and journaling about each of my five joys for that day typed up and then just sort of a little filler card that I made all right, day number six was a sort of pseudo date night um, for my husband and I. We went to a friend's 40th birthday party and we had a long drive to get there. So we dropped the pup off at my in-laws and sort of just had the night to ourselves. So we took the Tesla, of course, and it has this fun like romantic mode is what it's called. Um, and so it starts a fire. It's got like a fireplace. Um, image that comes up on the screen and it kicks the heat on and it plays music and it's super funny so we totally took a picture of us doing that um in the driveway at my at our friend's house um but it was fun it was kind of a like it felt like back in the early days you know for the last 10 years we've pretty much spent all of our waking moments together um and this week we did not um and so that was really different and so you know i got dressed up to go to the party and i was waiting for him to come pick me up and so it was, it was fun and reminiscent of when we were much younger and would go on dates and things like that. Or when we were in high school and he would pick me up to go to school in the morning, which is funny. Um, and then over here I've got just, it's a three and a half by eight insert that I made a pocket out of. This paper is from the um, Tis the Season six by six paper pack. And I just added one of the label die cuts from the main kit. And then inside I've got some typed journaling um, on photo paper um, about the evening and then this is actually I made us a special playlist to listen to on the way out there um, and so it's called love letters for Christmas um, and so it's sort of like Christmassy love songs and uh, so this is just a screenshot from Spotify it may be hard to see in the dark print that I printed um, that I screenshot from my computer from my laptop and then just trimmed it out a little bit in the tag shape and size that I wanted it to added an old red label with the listening. This is from the, um, one of the new stamp sets. Is it the currently holiday stamp set? Currently during the holidays stamp, this guy. Um, and so I just used listening from there. This is a great set. All right, so I'll put these back in this little pocket. And then on the back, um, this was just like filler page because it didn't um, it didn't have any large photos from day seven or things like that. Um, and so what I did is I used I wanted I knew in this album I wanted to do my friend um, I wanted to do some stamping like this. My friend Tracy Fox and I were talking earlier this year about the star the Starbucks red cups for this year and how the one cup looked like it would be super fun to double stamp that. And so the Stanley stamps were absolutely perfect for that um, because they have the, the solid and the outline. 
And so I just did those in red and green and, and each row is sort of merry and bright stamped out. And my stamping is totally messed up on this. Like you can see, it's real squishy down here. It's more, it's crooked up here. I don't care. <laughs> that doesn't bother me at all. Um, because it's fun and I didn't want to overthink the process or spend too much time trying to be meticulous. That's not really my style. So, um, what I did is I was like, okay, let me see if I can find something to cover up some of these mistakes. And I pulled this plastic shape from the main kit. And when I sort of was placing it around to see where it would look good, I was like, oh, you know what? If I put it up on top like that and staple it on, it looks like a bow on a present. Um, so that's what I went with and I love it. It's super cute. It's one of my favorite pieces in here. All right, so my last story for what I'm gonna to share today is day seven. Um, my foundation pages were this transparency frame. Which hopefully you can see it's got like white around the edge. This wood veneer seven is from an LA studio release from earlier this year and I stamped on their December story. Then um, I had made, I had a race this day, a 5K race. And so I made this vellum page using the Candy Cane Jane Alphas Run Run Rudolph, stamping that out because I thought that was super fun. Um, and so then I just used some washi to create some flip ups. So my, or my tab here says the Merry Details. That's from the um, Holly Jolly stamp set, I believe, from this year. And then I did some handwritten journaling because um, my journaling wasn't lengthy and I have done very little hand journaling or handwritten journaling in this album so far, which is kind of um, interesting for me. That's different because um, I usually am just a write it and get it done kind of person. Um, and then I've got some photos as the rest of the flip up. So it's kind of two, two flips here. And then just a sticker from one of the puffy alpha or puffy sticker sheets. Um, yeah, so those are my days one through seven and some of my pre-December stuff. I hope that you found something inspiring in here. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And I hope that your daily, December daily is going as wonderfully as mine is um, and that you are enjoying your holiday season so far. Happy scrapping. Merry Christmas. I'll be back next week. Bye.